welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you how you can import intraday data into your python terminal that is for 1 minute 5 minute 15 minute and any interval data into your python terminal for any days any number of days it, it could be 5 days 15 days uh, 6 month 1 year so all are available uh, in somewhere and I just figure it out and I sharing the process how you can import interday data into your python terminal as you, if you have the data then you can uh, backtest over it for a long time period or you can build a machine learning process uh, ml algorithm to predict the stock price in near future so it's really helpful and let's see how we can import let's do it now i am opening python code editor let's create a new folder called intraday data under this intraday data let's create a python file called let's main let me import some module import request and also i need time because uh, here we will go going to deal with some timestamp and import re uh, pandas import pandas as pd and from date time import date time these are all mod record module for this tutorial now let's go to the browser to have the actual url how from we will get the data for intraday and for this purpose i am going to use money control because uh, from this site uh, intraday data is available and it's real time so let me search any for any stock let me go to reliance look at here look at the advanced chart option here we can see 1 minute 3 minute 5 15 30 and 1 hour data is available here the chart is available that means the data is available it is stored in some somewhere in the website so we have to search it for the url let me inspect the page and let's go to the network tab and let's uh, take the five minute chart so this is the url for five minute chart let me open into the new tab look at here the resolution is five that means it's a five minute data look at the data here it's a t means the time stamp uh, here we won't get the usual format of date time we have to change it according to our needs but here we'll in the available data is uh, time stamp open high low close and volume so let me copy the url and paste it here and let me store this url as url now let's uh, now look at the url here is the reliance reliance means the stock data and the resolution is 5 and uh, from here to here so this is the start timestamp and to end so let me cut this and make it as start and start equal to and end equal to We have to take this as a string str then 
now let's print the url whether it is working or not print url let's save the file let's go to the path let me check the url whether data is it's complete it's working now let's go to here this is a start time and this is a end time so we need to change the timestamp to date so how do you change the timestamp into a date format let me create a function which will give us the timestamp to date or date to timestamp we need here only the timestamp so let's define date to timestamp and we will pass the date so how do you do that let me take a variable time tuple equal to date dot time tuple and then timestamp equal to time dot mk time time table it will convert the time table into time stamp let me round let's return time stamp now let's check the function is working or not let me take uh, the date as date equal to date time dot today and let's check the date as a print date to time stamp date this is working this is the time stamp for today let me check go to the unix time stamp this is a side we can check the conversion let me check this is the 24 july 20 3 that is 2013 that is 813 this is working now this function is working now we will modify this as a start date to date time date to time stamp date time dot no let's take 23 2021 7 that is the uh, friday and end date let's take this as a today so let me copy dot today let's run the function it's working now we will request this url now let's response equal to request dot get 
url so it will request the url data and let me print this one so actually it's a json file so we need to add json it will give the data let's check here it is these are json file so we cannot read from th this type of structure we need to change it into the pandas for format data frame so let's data is equal to pd dot data frame response let's print the data look at here the data is coming this is the t stand for timestamp open high low close and volume so we need to convert this timestamp to date so you have to do it reverse now we did time date to timestamp now we will define a function that will give us timestamp to date timestamp to date and we will pass timestamp here it is date time dot from timestamp and we will pass timestamp it will give us the date corresponding to the timestamp and we will return this now let's check let's store the date into date variable that is an array we declare now for time or date in data look at here date timestamp is stored in the variable of t so we need to access under code t date dot append date colon time stamp to date dt and let me print date it will print only the timestamp into the date uh, so this is a json file we need to convert it uh, we need to uh, make it as a pandas data frame so let's dt is equal to pd dot data frame date let's print look at here the date look uh, this is uh, 2021-7-23 that is uh, yesterday is a 9-15 to 3-30 so uh, 23rd all 5 minutes data 15, 20, 25 to 30 so this is a 5 minute data for yesterday it is importing here now let's take the new variable intraday intraday data is equal to pd dot concat here we need first date then we need open look at the data structure here this is the open high low close and volume so o h l c and v 
so we need to add all these things open high low and close and volume let's print Oh sorry. Look at here. This is the date open high low close and volume. Now let's uh, rename O as open, H as high, low as L as low. So how do you do that? just we have to take dot rename let me enter columns equal to o as open I as H as high and low as low and close C as close and volume V as volume. Now let's print. look this is now date open high low close and volume so there is no problem to import the data for intraday just import the data for yesterday uh, in this way you can take the data from the six month or eight months or whatever is available in the website so there is no issue for that we can change the date if we change it to one one that is first january 2021 let's check the five minute data data is available or not look at here it is 2021 uh, one one that is first january 9 15 the reliance data was open high low close and volume and are till today till yesterday that is today is the holiday 7 23 so in 330 so in this way you can import the data for intraday uh, for five minutes one minutes three minutes five minutes 15 minutes 30 and one hour data into your python terminal and um, you, you can do it for any stock any indices so this is all about the video hope you will like it and uh, of course thanks for watching me